Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where that, that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you, yes? Um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's... Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the first half of May, 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Yep, yeah, let's get into this. Yeah. So, spirit. Oh, sorry, let me get let me get, let me get situated here. All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gem Gemini for this time period of May 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Gemini. So, let's see what we've got going on for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> there is a Basement Jack song in which they say that. I think, what, what album was that off of? Remedy, I think it was. Anyway, that just, that comes to mind. Anytime I say Gemini, that comes to mind. That comes to mind. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me, uh, I'm going to shuffle this one more time for you, Gemini. We're good. And let's cut the deck. All right, Gemini, what's going on? Your overall energy, we're starting off with, oof, the chariot. Y'all are on the move. <laughs> Y'all are on the move to something. Um, you're really passionate. You, you're really very, very, very driven right now. This could be in career. This could be in love. This could be uh, 
in anything. I'm picking up on a financial on a financial level. You guys are really making some moves. So um, I feel like this is mostly going to be a a career in finance reading. Just just that's just because that's the main energy I'm picking up here. The the largest portion of it. Very interesting. We got the chariot. So and I'm like you're on the move. But then you've got the Four of Swords here. So mentally, you're kind of taking a break. You're stepping back. So this could mean, for many of you, that you, like, much like this man in the chariot here is pointing, you're pointing, you know the direction you want to go in, and you know it's right for you, you know it's spiritually guided or whatever, but, um, or at least you're aware of what direction you want to go in. Um... But you're not quite at the at the place to make the moves. Okay, you're still trying to plan it out. You're still kind of um, in a restful period, taking a nap. Yeah, um, taking a break before stepping back into the battle, because then we have uh, the world in reverse. Now, for some of you, oh. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I was picking up on. We also have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is talking about a reconciliation of some sort. Now, for some of you, um, well, for most, if not all, I'm going to say because I am picking up on a blockage to an ending to something which is being represented by the world in reverse. For some of you, you know what you need to do, but you're in resistance to it. Now, if we're talking in terms of reconciliation, you may need, you may need to um, open yourself up to the possibility of allowing this reconciliation to manifest, okay? That could be the direction you know you need to move in. That doesn't necessarily mean that you are facilitating or you are taking the first step. Maybe that is part of what you know you need to do, but that's not for all of you, okay? But overall, you know that somehow some way you got to reconcile you may even want to reconcile but the world in reverse could symbolize for you if you do want to reconcile the world in reverse could say it's just not the right time yet or you're being blocked somehow energetically um just by picking up the vibes of this other person or this other uh group or um whatever the situation is for you um but reconciliation is at hand, guys. Yeah. Moving on, let's see what's in your storyline for this period. We have the star. All right. So healing wishes. Um, you do, for the most part, when in terms of reconciliation, you want to reconcile, and, and this absolutely is divinely guided. As I was saying in the chariot, you this you you know the direction you want to go in. Okay, you've got the momentum. The momentum is there. It may just be in like on reserve right now because the world is, is reversed. So there's a blockage and you're at the four of swords. You're like in a mental rest, but the momentum is there. The star is guiding you, is leading you on this path and healing is happening. So what I'm really picking up on in the four of swords, especially is that in this time of four of swords, you are working on your own inner healing to help prepare you for the next step towards this reconciliation. Ah, the seven of swords. So the star in the seven of swords is saying that in this time of healing, in this time of respite, illumination and enlightenment is coming to you about seven of swords energy. This could, this could really be anything in terms of, um, dishonesty or, uh, 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 lying, cheating, stealing, um, just, um, unscrupulous behavior. Yeah. Healing is coming to you in terms of this and it's happening on an individual, on a personal, on a soul level for you. Okay. And this is helping facilitate you get to the point where the world is no longer reversed. And now you can take all of this momentum that has been in escrow with the chariot and move forward with it. Okay. Ooh. Uh, next, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so you may be up in your feelings about this, Gemini, or the other person, other people, whatever. You you or they may be up in, in, in your feelings about it, but you're not necessarily letting it show. You're kind of keeping it to yourself right now. And that makes sense at, with the Four of Swords here, okay? And this is falling under the Four of Swords. So yeah, that makes sense. With oh, the Empress. Well, that's beautiful. So what I'm saying, what I'm seeing here is... Fertile, 
fertility, um, unconditional love, an environment in which this, this, an environment in which you can have, feel the freedom and safety, um, to let your, your true emotions come forward when the time comes during, when this reconciliation comes forward. I'm also picking up on divine feminine power. Okay. Um, but what I'm, I am picking up on divine feminine power, but we're not talking about like a twin flame situation here. Um, we're talking about the unconditional love and acceptance of the divine feminine, right? This is the environment you're in right now. So you or this other person is represented by the queen of cups and surrounding them, we have the energy of the empress, okay? Now, I just picked up, I just realized in the beginning of the reading, I did say that we could be talking about a, um, a financial or a business situation, but that wasn't completely true. What I was picking up on in that moment when I said that was the earth energy, not necessarily the finances or career. So we're talking about things on a 3D physical level right now, and it makes perfect sense because we're talking about a reconciliation of some sort, okay? I just wanted to clarify that. Moving forward, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with, oof, the moon. Okay, so um, there is a blockage to doing the necessary necessary work. Gemini, I'm picking up that this is mostly for you, all right? It could very well be the other person or the other situation that we're talking about, but... Mm, The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting two different scenarios here. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, coupled with the moon, could be that you are not doing the work that you know you need to do or you may be guided to because you're unclear about what's going on around you and you may not necessarily want to 11-11. You may not necessarily want to put forward the effort to do something that wouldn't even work out for you. I'm picking up for some of you. That's what that's your train of thought here. For others of you, um, this could talk about your intuition trying to get through to you and trying to guide you to take certain steps, but you're in resistance to it. Okay. Um, and also, what I'm picking up, Gemini, is you may not be so willing to do this work um, in order to reach this reconciliation, at least do your part of what you would need to do to help facilitate this because relationships, all relationships are a two-way street. But I'm saying this for a reason. Two, relationships are a two-way street. And so the reason why you may not be doing these work, this work that you know you need to or that you may be guided to is because you in your position may feel like that the other person or the other people, the circumstances, whatever, the, or the situation is not lining up with it. And so you're like, well, I'm not going to do this work if they're not going to do the work. But the problem with that is you don't really know what's going on. You can't really see what's going on on their end. So just like you don't want to take a shot in the dark only to find that you were spinning your wheels for nothing, you're not taking that shot and not spinning those wheels because you can't see anything from your physical vantage point. Even from your energetic vantage point, you may not be able to observe anything that's going on with this other person. Okay. Next, we have the Six of Wands in reverse with, oof, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, that literally just flew out of my hand and went upright. But I'm going to take it reverse right now because I feel like we need to talk about this. The Six of Wands in reverse, um, I got, when I first saw that, I picked up a fear of failure. A f uh, not uh, thinking that you're not going to be successful. A lot of the times that can come up in the Three of Cups situation, but if that comes up with the Three of Cups, it's more on a grander social level. Here, we're talking about feeling like you're not going to be victorious, but also, Gemini, and I, I, now keep in mind, this is either you or the other person that we're talking about here. The Eight of Cups in reverse is telling me that you're not necessarily willing to walk away from the things that got you to this position to begin with. And so from that same point of view, you're looking at it and be like, oh, well, I'm not going to be victorious anyway, so why do I even bother? Fuck it. Why even bother? Or it could be things have been so ridiculous in the past that I don't even want to try because it's not going to work out. But again, that's you not walking away 
from the from past scenarios, from past situations. And just like I said, in these two cards here, you don't necessarily know how much this person or these other people or whatever, you don't know how much these people have changed or what even they've been doing in their life. But you're letting you, your, your fear-based understanding of what has gone on in the past keep you from taking that step forward. Keeping you from tr at least trying to reach that victory in the reconciliation. You know what I mean? Okay. Next, we have the Four of Cups. Yeah. With, ooh, the Queen of Wands. Give me a second here. I just want to see what I can, how much I can channel from this. The Four of Cups lately, for me, has been speaking to meditation and contemplation. But here, I'm coming back to one of the mo one of the more original um, uh, 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 definitions in that someone is not accepting an offer that's coming towards them, or someone is refusing to put forward an offer. And if we're talking about reconciliation, especially coming after the last two cards, I really feel like that Gemini, again, either you or maybe the other person that we're talking about, but I'm, I'm going to speak to Gemini for right now. Those, Gem those Geminis that are, re that are um, resonating with this in this way, you are, yeah, refusal is the right word. You are refusing to take that fourth cup. Do you see? She's got those three cups there. I don't know if you can see that. She's got those three cups there that she's looking at over this well. And then she's got that fourth cup trying to be handed to her. And look at how pretty and gilded and and and, and ornate that cup is. And the other three are down there just chilling. Not like they're, the, they're not gorgeous cups too, but they're not nearly as ornate and, and, and you know, as that last cup that's being held to her. And that, and that makes perfect sense why it would look like that, why this... This message makes sense at this moment because we have the Queen of Wands. So if you are in this position where you're not you're not moving, kind of being a little stubborn, not taking any steps, you're failing to realize that this person that you would want to be reconciling with is much more open to it than you think. We've got the Queen of Wands here. We've got, yes, someone who's very fiery and passionate. But she's also compassionate and she's a she's sociable. She's a people person. She understands people. So even if the situation between the two of you, or however many of you there are, even though you know this situation may look real dire, like there's no hope, I mean, really, that's just your fear speaking. And to be quite honest, Gemini, you know this about this person or these people or whatever. However, this resonates with you, just take it. If it doesn't, leave it. But either way, whoever we're talking about here that's represented by the Queen of Wands, you know this about this person. But you're allowing your fear to get in the way. Or you're allowing your stubbornness to get in the way. Now, you may have your own reasons for feeling this way. Don't get me wrong. And those could be justified. But understand that most of that is coming from Seven of Swords energy. Lack of authenticity. Lying, cheating, stealing, gaslighting, whether that's you gaslighting or you being gas being lit. Blaming others and not necessarily taking responsibility for yourself. That sure is slight. That sure is cheating. That sure is stealing. But healing is coming to that because that's on that's on top of the star. If you're not physically watching the video, I was just holding up the Seven of Swords. Okay, moving on, Gemini, we have, aha, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So look, I was just, I was literally just talking about that. Literally just talking about that. The Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Swords is Queen B. She ain't putting up with no bullshit. But the Queen of Swords in reverse is, is yo, is out to cut someone up and she don't give a fuck who she hurts in the process. And it's not justified. Let me tell you, when the Queen of Swords is in reverse, she is on a rampage for the sake of being on a rampage a lot of the time because she likes that at that thrill that she gets from exerting her power over someone else. Okay. Ooh, 
But now we've got the five of swords in reverse. So all of that energy that I was just talking about here is, rep is literally represented by the five of swords. So if the five of swords were upright here, I would be super, super concerned. But I'm not because the five of swords is reversed. So what this is saying to me is this queen of swords, whoever this is, is this is you now, 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 Gemini, you are an air sign. So this really could be you. All right. But if it's not you, Gemini, if it's the other person, then the queen of swords is in reverse is starting to, that's in reverse is starting to come to terms with five of swords energy. And that's why it's in reverse because it's being released on a certain level. She's not quite there yet, but what I'm picking up from these two cards is that she's starting to see the error of her ways. Now, she is still in reverse, okay, this Queen of Swords. And please understand, when I say he or she, I'm not talking about gender, I'm just talking about the energy, okay? Energy doesn't have a gender. Um, gender is a dualistic concept uh, born out of 3D reality. Uh, energy has characteristics of masculinity and femininity, but that still does not give it gender. Okay, moving on. Um, the Queen of Swords here is still in reverse. So she's, he, he or she, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they are in the beginning stages of coming to terms with this Five of Swords energy, which is why it's represented as in reverse. So that's a good thing. But again, they're in the beginning stages of this. They're literally just now starting to see it. So Gemini, if this is you and you're resonating with this and you're the one that's in the Four of Swords energy, this is why. You have taken a mental break. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say, because I'm picking up on it, that a lot of you have gone through a lot of situations that started to show you this energy that you're putting forward because I'm not exactly sure you were all that aware, consciously aware of it. But now that you're starting to see it, you're kind of taking a time out, still in your reverse Queen of Swords state, but you're taking a time out and you're starting to learn the lesson. So this is why also the world is in reverse. Now the world is here. That's a good thing. But it's in reverse. It's blocked because you're still in the process of learning these lessons that will ultimately get you, these final lessons that will get you to this completion represented by the world. Okay. Moving on, we have Three of Swords. You are not without your own heartbreak, Gemini. If you're, if you rest, now this is, this is speaking to, this is speaking to the person that is, that is represented here by the Queen of Swords in reverse. You are not without your own heartbreak. So I don't want you to think that I'm coming down on you or, to, or saying that you're an awful person. You're not justified in, in approaching life the way you have been recently. Okay. Doesn't make it right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that too. It doesn't make it right, but you're still understood. Okay. And this is why, because of the Three of Swords energy, because of the heartbreak, the pain, um, this could stem from childhood trauma that just manifested in some really icky ways for you. And this is coupled with ah, temperance in reverse. But you see, the problem here is, Gemini, you have been, or maybe this is the other person, but I really feel like I'm talking to Geminis right now. You have allowed this Three of Swords energy to not only throw you out of balance, but you have been drawing on it to keep yourself out of balance because what you considered to be balanced was what you were drawing on this Three of Swords energy to feed. But that, in fact, is out of balance. And it is what has been causing you to act out, lash out in Five of Swords energetic ways in relation to the things that are going on in your life. The, this is, the, whatever happened, whatever the Three of Swords, this heartbreak and trauma that we're referring to here, this is what has caused you to turn into the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so understand that while you're in this moment of respite and you're learning these lessons, you're going through, you're thinking about things, you're replaying things, and you're like, oh, okay, Understand that the core of this situation is some sort of heartbreak. So if you like, we didn't get the Six of Cups here. We're probably not going to because we just have one more slot left. But you might, I'm feeling like you might want to really just really take advantage. And I, oh gosh, I don't like saying it that way because we're talking about the Empress, Empress here. But really utilize Lord, my phone is blowing up right now, guys. I'm so sorry. Really utilize to the maximum this Empress energy, this, this unconditionally loving and um, God bless. <laughs> my phone is just going crazy. Um, this unconditionally loving, maybe, maybe it's 
my, I mean, it's on vibrate. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's catching my attention. And I think it's because this is a really important point that really the universe really wants to get across to whoever is resonating with this right now, whether it's you, Gemini, or the other person. You have an environment of unconditional love and abundance and infinite fertility in order to work through this situation. So as you are in this Four of Swords respite, timeout, nap-like energy, really use, utilize the Empress's energy to the maximum because it's here for you and it's abundant. You can't deplete it, okay? We're talking about universal abundance here. That shit ain't going nowhere, <laughs> but in your pocket, okay? <laughs> All right, finally, Gemini, we have, ah, the Hermit. Yeah, so you're really taking the time to go within and find the answers, and that's excellent. With, oof, the Hierophant, okay? So, um, this is, all right, this is taking the time and expending the energy and effort to go within and take counsel within you within with God, with your higher self, with the universe, with source creator, your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever. Yourself though too, your higher self has to be a part of this conversation and that is represented here by the Hierophant. But you have to take the time to go inside and communicate with your higher self and whoever, other, whatever light and loving beings that wish to help you on this journey, um, whoever else, desires to be involved and be helpful in the conversation, do it and listen closely. The Hierophant says, listen closely. Uh, no, 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 don't give me no buts, says the Hierophant. Listen closely because you have something to learn here, dear child. Yes? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So there you have it, Gemini. That is your reading for the first half of May. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, you are, I encourage you to please email me. Um, and I would be more than happy to help you guys out. Yeah? Much love to you all, and I wish you all the best moving forward. Take care. Bye.